Welcome to Data Drivers. I'm your host, Andrew Smith of Think Uncommon. In this series, we'll examine how retailers are winning by developing an informed relationship with their customers, better understanding what their customers want, and using data and analytics to deliver increased sales. In this episode, we're going to jump into the transformative influence that AI and ML are having on retail. We'll see how these cutting edge technologies enable retailers to enhance profitability and efficiency with the help of data analytics. So join us as we take a deep dive into the world of retail analytics and discover how it's helping retailers to stay ahead of the game in today's ever-changing marketplace. One of the things you think about generative AI in terms of why it's bringing such excitement to the tech landscape really has to do with how wide its footprint is. Many technology changes are limited to certain industries or to certain consumer groups. However, I think of this as almost comparing it to the mainstream launch of the internet in the 90s to what's happening right now with Gen I. We're still in the early stages of Gen I, but I personally believe it will be a game changer. Hyper-personalization is definitely going to be different. We've seen some of that already in some of the early technology and early use cases, how you can create hyper-personalized recommendations, optimization scenarios, recommendations for completing a look, for example, or completing a basket in a different type of shopping environment. The seamless shopping experience is gonna get better and better for customers to engage across multiple channels without those barriers that have historically been there. We're kind of living in an all of the above world when it comes to AI machine learning, where it's really difficult and maybe even fruitless to pick a single area where it might have the most impact. And I think that's a good thing. And it marks a really big shift that's happening in retail where, you know, used to retailers were happy to have very niche solutions that solve very niche problems or that, you know, took care of very small, narrowly defined opportunities. Well, all of that's changing and it's changing because of AI and machine learning. Now retailers can look at things more holistically. They can check a lot more boxes with these technologies. And so they're looking at it from more of a synergistic perspective. And I think that marks a very big shift from the past. And I've been telling my solution provider clients that that marks a big shift for them too, where the expectation is if you're presenting a solution to retailers, you need to look at the big picture. So I think that's where all of this is going, where it's gonna be a much more synergistic, holistic approach enabled by and powered by AI and machine learning. So for retailers, I think Gen AI will have the largest impact on the support roles. Retailer margins are tight and thus there have been a lot of reductions over the years in these support roles, which ultimately has impacted workload. For example, we have a retail customer that during COVID they went and audited all their contracts and saved millions of dollars by uncovering that they were paying suppliers that they hadn't used for years, but were set up on auto renewal contracts and due to the reduced labor, weren't able to actually review them every year like they used to. I think there's two things that I'd love to highlight with regard to the store enablement and what changes with regard to creating that like store of the future. First of all is the ability to leverage this technology to create the equivalent of 24 seven availability of a store. AI powered chatbots, virtual assistants, you provide the ability for your consumer to engage in a way that they want to at a time that makes sense for them without any restriction of time or business hours. The second thing is the ability to create these highly personalized experiences so that as a consumer, you have this seamless integration and work going on. So you might start the dialogue through a mobile device that carries through to, you might be the leader at home or at work on a PC, you might later be in the store and there's just this seamless ability to move between the different channels for the retailer to be able to interact with that consumer in a highly personalized way based on where they are in their discovery about a product or service. I believe that the future growth of AI technologies and retail are really going to be dependent on the data they're using. So if you think about it, data is the foundation that drives the technology and thus AI in the retail industry will only expand as far as the data will allow it. So for example, in contract management, one of the major challenges companies have is finding their kind of contracts because they can be stored in many different places within a company. As a result, I can see data management becoming even more important to retailers to ultimately drive the success of leveraging AI. One thing though, that I think everyone needs to pay attention to and it's just around the corner, it's gonna be the need for differentiation. 
Because when everybody has access to the same tools, and when those tools are democratized, which they already are, many of them are free and available to just anyone on the street, then how do you stand out? And I think that's been the age old question in retail since the beginning of time. But here it is again, just in a very different form. How will you stand out when everyone else has access to these capabilities? I think human intervention and human creativity will be a necessary complement to these technologies uh, for quite some time, because it'll take a mix of those efforts to really make the whole thing sing. Well, there you have it, the future is bright. Thank you for joining me as we connected the dots from a diverse web of data sources. In our next episode, as part of a Retail Cloud Alliance holiday special, we'll dive into the fabulous and weird and wonderful world of holiday retail. We'll look at the trends and their profound influence on the entire retail ecosystem. To learn more about the Retail Cloud Alliance, don't forget to click the link below and subscribe to our channel so that you are first in line to watch the latest episodes. I'm your host, Andrew Smith of Think Uncommon. See you next time.